Alafia. Um, this will be real short. It's Mufasa. And um, due to the recent events of the Mike Brown issue with Ferguson, how they have passed that they will not indict uh, the officer, uh, I decided that uh, I should give certain points where we can upgrade our surveillance of police. Now, as you know, and for those of you that don't know, no, this is not a gang bandana. Okay? Excuse me. No, this is not a gang bandana. The red symbolizes the blood of uh, my people who was sacrificed, uh, who was slaughtered wrongfully. And uh, those who fought back rightfully. And the black, which is underneath the hat, symbolizes the race or the primal race that, that we come out of. Black is also a symbol of life, of space, uh, of three stage of darkness in the mother's womb, which life exists in, and from which uh, we come out into the world. And green is the rich mineral resources of the land of Africa where we originate from. Those of us who phenotypically have our features still, um, and to which the invaders and colonialists and uh, who want to try to invade the lands so they can steal the wealth and mineral resources to enrich themselves and because the people who phenotypically look like or are our uh, bloodline connects back there are the ones who um, are oppressed around the world excuse me for a second actually no uh, due to the fact that the oppressor has exceeded all bounds and that they have been blatantly disrespectful to uh, our quote unquote African American people so to, if you want to call it that although we were never truly Americans I know some will have an issue with that but if you study your history you never took a citizen's oath and um, uh, actuality, your flag is the, the uh, New African Republic flag or the UNIA flag or what we call Bendera, Bendera Ya Taifa. Okay, that is your flag, not the American flag. Okay, we are people who are in exile, uh, a nation here in, in, in on this land who are born here. And um, we have been fighting oppression and we've been oppressed in many different ways. And from the 60s on up, or the, excuse me, a 70s on up, an ignorant generation was born who, for the main part, was not really taught the legacy of our struggle. And um, from the 80s and 2000s, here we 90s and 2000s, here we are, you know. Um, so, because the police or pigs have stepped up their oppression with their blatant disrespect, I now will offer a new type of surveillance real quick the surveillance that I'm speaking of is that from the precincts you follow them home get their addresses it's public information you, you're allowed to give this public information see they operate from invincibility excuse me They operate from invincibility, meaning that, see, intelligent gathering or knowledge is power is the old cliche. See, when you know about people, just like when they know about us, they know where we live at, they're able to appear and pop up at any moment in time, and that puts people on cue. What you need is to put them on cue, to put them on point, okay? That's what's needed nowadays. We need to strip them of their invincibility. Invisibility has to go if you want them to stop killing us, okay? We have to normalize them like everybody else is normalized. You see, when they're not in uniform, when they're not on duty, they're no longer police. You have to understand that. They're no longer police when they don't have the uniform on. 
So, you follow him home. You follow him home from the precincts. You wait a couple blocks down the way or a block down the way. And you, and you get a high definition camera or with power lenses and you follow them home. You jot down their address. The next stage is you want to put that on some uh, uh, files or put it in your computer and then collect all the addresses. You know, and if that's for the, you know, the patient and consistent route, if you want to, to be, you know, uh, quick and fast about it, then what you, what you want to do is you want to, uh, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is, got something, the re, the reason why you, you want to do this, uh, if you want to do this in a quick manner is what I'm trying to say then what you do is use the specific ones who are actually doing the police brutality you use this method on you get the name you get their the precinct that they work on the badge number and then from there you work and you follow them home you get the information where they live at the next thing you need is then put it on flyers it's public access public information put all that on flyers and then plaster the flyers everywhere around the city so everybody knows where these people live at. When you see them out on duty, if they do something wrong to somebody and they oppress somebody wrong, once they get off of the job as a police officer, they are just a you and me. For those of you who are afraid to hurt a police officer. Now, to those of you that don't care about if they're on duty or not, then, you know. But for those who are afraid because they have the official status, uh, as a police officer, so then what you do is you await, you await, baby toy, you await uh, until they get off of their duty to get the information about them, and then you plaster that uh, on what you need to plaster that on, you know, on the the uh, flyers and stuff. So I don't want to be a long time or nothing like that. I just want to give you that information because. You know, this is for survival. You have to strip them of their invincibility. If they don't feel invincible, they will think once, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twice, three times, four times before they brutalize somebody because they know somebody know where they live at. You know how it is when somebody know where you live at. You like, you know, right? You have to think about other things. Your family's in jeopardy. You may, you might make a miss. You know, you know, issues can happen. You know, so now will this put them in danger? If you're not out there doing nothing wrong, like they tell us all the time, they tell us in society, what do they tell us? Hey, if you're not, if you're not doing wrong, you have absolutely nothing to hide. And so we say the same to them. You know, we say the same to them. You have nothing to hide then. So why should you get mad? It's public information. See, knowledge is power. The reason why you think the police is able to get away, the reason why they are allowed to get away is because they function and operate on the comprehension from you that they are invincible. Because you don't know where they live at. You don't know where they, you know, they're there and they just in, in the uniform, they appear and then boof, they're gone. But now, what if you took that away? You have to secure, we have to secure our future. We have to put ourselves security. No one's going to do it for you. The judge is not going to do it for you. Obama is not going to do it for you. No one's going to do it for it but you. So what you got to do is take the initiative. So any of you that have a, a watch the police program where you we watch them in the black in their official capacity, that's cool and it, and it helps to an extent. But as you see, to an extent, they don't care about none of that now. You know, they got other backings that, you know, that, 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 they shoot you on duty. What you going to do then? You see what I'm saying? So we need to upgrade. We need to, uh, uh, another step to the thing. Now, if they are out there oppressing and someone happens to just because of the information to go see them and, and, and bust some mel you know, bust their head open. Well, then or worse, they had that coming. They deserve that like anybody else deserves that. They're not nobody special. So I just want to pass on a little knowledge. You know, just just throw an idea out there uh, that they need to their invincibility, ghosthood or whatever needs to be ripped from them. And we need to know where these people live at, just like they know where we live at. See, they, they know where a lot of people out here live at. OK.
Okay? And that's what gives them their invincibility. So, uh, that's all I just wanted to pass on to you. Uh, it was, you know, I was I seen her thinking for it a while. Uh, Alafia, Black Independence, Black Liberation. Um, it's all, of, it's, it's, you know, we must do what we got to do to secure our, our future. Okay? So, peace be with you. Bye.